Japan. What is it? Who are they? Why are them? These are all questions we've been asking ourselves since we first discovered Japan was a thing. Despite all the research and archaeology done on this amazing land, we are no closer to answering these questions than we were 1.6 million years ago. Until now. Tofugu has taken Japan research to new heights by simply interviewing Japan. Getting answers straight from the source. This is Tofugu Interviews Japan. Welcome back again, Japan. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not Japan, Japanese, okay? I'm person, as you can see. So the first question I have for you today is, do you really have to learn kanji? Yeah, to read Japanese, yes, we need it. Do I really have to? If you want to read Japanese, yeah, you should. Really? Yeah. There were some scholars in the 50s, very bright scholars, who had this idea yeah. to get rid of kanji, get rid of katakana and hiragana, and do all romaji. In Japan? Yes. So oh. What do you think about that idea? I don't think it's a good idea, because for Japanese people, it's natural to use Kanji, kana, katakana. But it's easier for me if I just read romaji all the time. So well, yeah. if you changed it, then that would be really good for me. Oh, okay. It's, it's maybe good for you, but it's not good for all entire Japanese people. But think of it this way. If we all just changed our languages, we could have like the same language, same writing system preferably English, for everybody. Wouldn't that yeah. be easier for the world? And... Yeah. It's, it's, okay, it's one idea, but I don't think it works because every country has each culture. They need to be related to their language. Well, thank you again for joining me, Japan. So, okay, not Japan, Japanese, okay? Hey. Oh, sorry, there was something flying in dust. It was very interesting. Very interesting dust? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 